Hello, hello everybody! Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube Creative Studio. This is the second part how to create uh, the four squares poncho with a simple flower in the middle of each square. In the first part uh, I showed you how to make four squares and uh, in this uh, second part I will show you how to join the squares together and uh, how to make a nice border and how to make a neckline border as well. So as you can see uh, I used two the same squares for the shoulder and two the same squares for the front and the back panel. You can make the square bigger or smaller up to you. Just repeat uh, row number four as many times as you wish for your size. The pattern notes are available in the box right below this video tutorial and written pattern is for free on my blog. I'm using uh, Terina yarn, three colors. You will need two balls of white color, one ball of peach color and one ball of this violet color to finish the poncho. I will make seven rounds on the uh, uh, bottom, on the border around the bottom and one around uh, around the neckline. As you can see there are only two corners in front and on the back as this part I joined the squares and this part is now uh, just the, the row with the flat so I will continue working um, from the corner to the corner and again the row to the first corner. So this is it my crochet friends. Let's get started and I will show you how to join the squares. I will use 5 mm crochet hook. You will need some scissors and a tapestry needle. Now I put front and back panel on them and you have to remove the front panel so take it off and join the back panel and the shoulder okay so I have two the same panels for the front and back panel and two the same panels for the shoulders now the back panel and also the shoulder panel uh, wrong side is facing me and I will um, easily join the panels by slip stitching. I will use white yarn as I have the white uh, last row on each square. Insert the hook in chain 3 space on both panels and then rejoin the yarn, make a slip knot, pull it through the corner and chain one. And then you will easily work a slip stitch into each stitch. So now I'm joining uh, chain, chain one spaces. Yeah, so insert the hook in the first chain after the uh, corner. So in the chain one like this and make a slip stitch. Just make sure you work loosely. And then in the next double crochet in front loop and in next double crochet back loop. Okay, so on one side you will work in front loop, this is it, and on the second side you will work in back loop and make a slip stitch. And you will nicely join by slip stitches or stitches or double crochets. It's super super easy. So slip stitch into each stitch on one side and on the second side till you reach the corner then you will continue along the next side till you reach the next corner ok 
okay and yeah till the corner and then you will you will join the uh, third square for the shoulder again make sure you are working on the wrong side and then you will finish you will fold the squares like this and attach the front panel so this is it it's super easy slip stitch into each stitch okay here we are i just joined four squares you see nicely nicely joined I love it and then you can continue with me and I will show you how to make a neckline border and I will use the violet color I would recommend you to start in the V corner uh, you can start on the back or front panel maybe it's better to start on the back panel because uh, we will then hide the end and so so uh, insert the hook and the lip stitch and chain one then chain three one two three and skip two stitches okay skip uh, two stitches and let's make a single crochet into the next stitch chain three skip two stitches and work single crochet into the next stitch and this is how you will continue till you reach the next corner one two three chains then single crochet skip two and a single crochet into the next and once you reach the corner on the opposite side, um, the V corner, V neck corner, I would recommend you to make a single crochet right in the V. Okay, so chain three and skip two stitches then single crochet into the next and then I will pull the chain through these chain spaces okay well yes here we are I'm at the end chain three and close the round with a slip stitch placed in the first chain this is it so guys yeah we have a really nice decline I love it at the end of my video tutorial I will show you how to easily make a chain or a string which you can pull through the neckline chain spaces and uh, you can adjust the size so you see this is the V on the opposite side and I nicely place the single crochet right into the V corner so yeah this is it and let's continue with the bottom border I will make seven rounds again each round um, each round uh, will be closed with a slip stitch i would recommend you to start in the corner the corner stitch is the same for each and every uh, round and again you can make the border uh, longer or shorter up to you so rejoin the yarn and let's start the first round of the bottom border I will start in the corner and chain three. One, two, three. Then three double crochets in chain three space. One, two, and three. 
I count chain 3 at the beginning as a stitch, so now I have 4 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4. Chain 3 and place 4 double crochets in chain 3 space. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Perfect. Now chain one, skip one stitch and work double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two double crochets, chain one, skip two stitches and work double crochet in next two stitches. One and two and chain one, skip one and one double crochet in next two stitches. So I have Two double crochets and chain one in this in this round and continue and repeat these instructions till you reach the corner then make a corner in the corner and continue two double crochets chain one till you reach the first corner here we are join the round with a slip stitch you can cut the yarn and I will rejoin the white yarn. Let's start in the corner again and chain 3 which is my first double crochet. 1, 2, 3 and 3 double crochets in chain 3 space. Then chain three and four double crochets. So here we are. Now I will make a cluster of two double crochet stitches. I will place a cluster of two double crochets in each chain space. Okay, two double crochets and chain two. Again, two double crochets together or cluster of two double crochets, chain two, one, two and again a cluster of two double crochets in next chain space. And you will continue till you reach the corner, in the corner, let's make a corner stitch and then continue cluster of two double crochets, chain two and cluster of two double crochets in each and every chain space. And you can repeat this round as many times as you wish. I made two rounds, one white round and one uh, this orange line uh, color and yep if you want to have the border longer you can repeat this round more times okay in the next round I will use again the white color and uh, it will be easy around with double crochet stitches so this is the end of my peach curl and yeah I'm happy I managed to finish the round and I will not use this curl anymore so it's absolutely perfect. So one a ball uh, used up. Now I will work uh, double crochet stitches row. It's easy row. Let's start in the corner as always. Make a slip knot and then chain three which is my first double crochet and then three double crochet in chain three space so we have four double crochets then chain three and four double crochets Perfect. Four double crochets, then 
chain one and work a group of three double crochet stitches in each and every chain space. Okay, so in chain two space place three double crochets one. Two and three, and in the next chain space again three double crochets. One, two, three, and again one, two, and three. I will meet you again at the end of the round. Then you will, once you finish uh, the group of chain of uh, three double crochets, you will chain one and close the round with a slip stitch. Then I will uh, make two rounds with the uh, violet color. And as you remember, on the square with uh, we made two rounds with this uh, violet color, and it was really light around with uh, chain spaces. So this is what I will do also on the board at the bottom of my poncho. So make a slip knot, then chain three and three double crochets. I know guys that the corner is always the same, but uh, you know, I'm starting with the corner, so I have to repeat it. Three chains and four double crochets. Four double crochets, yes, and now chain one, two, three, and four. Skip uh, th uh, three stitches and place single crochet into the next stitch, then chain three, one, two. Three, skip chain one and one double crochet and work single crochet in the middle double crochet of group of three double crochets from the previous row. Then chain three, skip two stitches and play single crochet in next. Chain three, skip two stitches and work single crochet in next. So as you can see, the single crochet is uh, in the middle of group of three double crochet stitches only at the beginning after the corner the single crochet is uh, on the top of the fourth uh, double crochet uh, in the corner stitch so yeah chain three skip two and a single crochet and continue till you reach the corner Join the round with a slip stitch and move by slip stitches so easily work slip stitch into each stitch till you reach the chain three space. Once you reach the chain three space, chain three and make a corner stitch. So chain three, then three double crochets. Chain three and four double crochets and I will show you the pattern with chains and double crochet stitch yes 
so four double crochets perfect and now I will work double crochet in each chain space one two three chains and double crochet in chain space then chain three one two three and double crochet in next chain space chain three and double crochet in next chain space so you have three chains and double crochet and you will repeat it till you reach the corner in the corner we have uh, four double crochets chain three four double crochets so you will close the round with a double crochet in last chain space then chain four and slip stitch on the top of the first uh, double crochet here we are <laughs> and this is it and there is only one round to finish the poncho so we are almost done my crochet friends <laughs> And I will use the white color for the last for the last uh, uh, round. And again, it will be very easy round with double crochet stitches only. So make a slip knot, chain three, and then three double crochets in chain three space. chain 3 and 4 double crochets in chain 3 space 1 2 3 and 4 yes chain 1 and then work three double crochets in each chain space so one two and three and in next chain space three double crochets one two and three this is it three double crochets in each chain space till you reach the corner then chain one and close the round with a slip stitch so this is it my crochet friends you already know how to make this beautiful summer poncho with four squares and with uh, the bottom border here we are <laughs> I'm at the end so cut the yarn and fasten off on the wrong side I made seven rounds for the border around the poncho but of course you can make more or less rounds up to you to have this poncho bigger or smaller so hide all ends and we are done <laughs> and I will show you of course how to make the string which we will pull through the neckline border I used a uh, five millimeters crochet hook for the whole project you see the corner is the same in each and every round there are four stitches chain three and four stitches yes amazing <laughs> i'm so so happy how my poncho turned out yeah and i love the colors of course you can make uh, one color poncho or you can use more colors as many 
uh, curls as you wish uh, for your poncho. So this is it. See? So we join the squares, we make the bottom border seven rounds. I change the peach and white color. They are two rounds with the violet color and the last round is made with white color. Again, so this is it. Yes. <laughs> So guys, you know how to make and how to adjust your poncho. Now let me measure. So the neckline has 19 centimeters, 7.5 inches. And you have to times it four times to get the neckline circumference. Now let me measure the length of the poncho. Let's measure it from the V neckline till the last corner. Okay, my poncho is quite long. <laughs> so the length is 78 centimeters, 30.5 inches. And I measure it from the V neckline till this corner. So this is the total length and I will also measure the side. Okay, so the side measures 50 centimeters, 19.5 inches. And how about the border? The border measures yeah, 10 centimeters, 4 inches. And if I measure the length in the corner, so it's 15 centimeters, 6 inches. Okay. 10 centimeters 4 inches for the border yeah this is it um, I think yeah we measured everything and now I will show you how to make uh, the stripe this is the rest of my white ball it's about one third uh, of the ball and this is the rest of the violet ball and I used up the peach ball um, the whole whole ball so yeah you will uh, need four balls for this amazing poncho and now let me show you how to make the stripe and you will pull the the string through the chain spaces on the top of your poncho. Make an S like this from yeah and I will work with three strands together. Let's make a knot at the end. Just make sure you make a knot at the end. Where is the the end of uh, your yarn? Okay and then I will show you how you can easily prolong the yarn and to work with three strands together. So grab the yarn, the working yarn, which is going to the ball and make a loop and pull the loop through the loop like this amazing and now you have three strands again and you can work with these three strands and make a chain just an easy simple foundation chain like this 
and make this chain as long as you need for your size. I made a chain uh, with uh, the length uh, 100 centimeters, uh, 40 inches, but you can make your chain as long as you need. Now at the I have to pull the yarn, the working yarn through the loop, make a loop and pull loop through the loop and continue crocheting. <laughs> super super easy how you can a nice and strong uh, chain. So let's finish the foundation chain and then pull it through the chain spaces <laughs> like this. I'm yeah I'm so happy <laughs> with the poncho and with the easy stripe of course you can make any um, type of uh, string you like there are so so many options so which one you like you can make the string um, about 100 centimeters long or 40 40 inches long and this is it <laughs> and then cut the ends and uh, yes and this is the end of my video tutorial my crochet friends if you will have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me you can put the comment right below this video tutorial or you can reach me on my Facebook page, uh, Pinterest and Instagram as well. I'm always happy to help. And uh, yeah, I would like to know how your poncho turned out, what colors you chosen for your poncho. Yes, <laughs> I love it, perfect. And yeah, guys, so thank you very much for watching. If you like this video tutorial, please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is the second part of uh, the video tutorial how to crochet four squares poncho. I will give you the link in the box right below uh, for the first uh, part of this video tutorial so you can find it easily. The written pattern is uh, for free on my blog and uh, the links where you can buy the yarn is also in the box right below this video tutorial. So I would like to wish you happy crocheting, have a nice summer time and hope to see you again. So take care and bye for now. Bye bye.